morning. We are having the most last minute shopping day ever. Our friend called us last night because his birthday's in two days and he called us and he was like, I just wanted to let you guys know the dress code for my birthday party. And I was like, dress code? We're going to get all you can eat meat and go bowling. But he's like, yeah, but we're dressing up. <clears throat> Me not being prepared at all now has to run to Saks. I'm gonna try to find something. I'm hoping to find, oh, I have two white like silky maxi skirts. Um, I was gonna wear those and then he was like don't wear white so now we're going shopping and I'm gonna do some very quick cold girl girl with the cold makeup because I'm a little sick there I mixed together the Estee Lauder double wear concealer and the Tarte ultra creamy um, concealer I mix these two together and I cover my eye bags they're obviously not covered but I look a lot better than I did 20 minutes ago i let that set i let it sit for a long time because it kind of sticks to the skin better oh yeah the only thing i have under my makeup is the cetaphil face and body <laughs> and like aquaphor on my nose because it's literally peeling this is mac shade chestnut and i just did a little bunny nose um this is that definitely gonna come off because i've been just blowing my nose non-stop and then i leave that for a minute so it like kind of sticks and then i'm taking this is the shade that i'm wearing on my lips and I'm also gonna wear it on my cheeks just so that I can like only carry this and kind of redo my entire face of makeup. It's the YSL, everything's in Japanese. The YSL Velvet Cream Lipstick in shade, I think the shade is 216, I don't know, but this is just it. I like, I've been doing this a lot lately because now this is the only product I really have to carry on me and my life is very low maintenance. Also, I just made some reservations at Joanne's Trattoria, Tra Trattoria, I don't know how to say it. Um, my friend told me I should go there because I love Italian food and apparently it's owned by Lady Gaga's parents. So like after I'm done shopping, we're just gonna walk over and have some Italian food. But yeah, I was supposed to be at a hair appointment today because you can see here is very much red and here is brown, but um, my hair lady has COVID. So I didn't even know COVID was still a thing. Like I thought we were over that. I kind of like to leave the line up here a little bit harsh because it makes it look extra buttony. And then just some mascara. I always have lashes on anyway, so I don't have to worry about doing 5,000 layers of this. And I only have lash extensions on the end to give me like, to lift my eyes up. Because if not, I will look tired and then people will be like, what's wrong with you? And then I'll get upset about it. A lot of times if you go into like a fancy like luxury store and you don't look fancy and elegante, they like ignore you. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for because I hate when they follow me around when I'm shopping, like leave me alone. And then on my lips, I'm gonna go back with the same shade I used on my cheeks, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mix it with Aquaphor because I hate a matte lip. And I just do a little bit and I kind of just blend it out. I'm not setting anything. If it comes off, it comes off. All right, I'm gonna find something to wear. Welcome to my closet. I'm trying to look nice, but I'm trying to be like ultra comfy today. Um, because shopping, it's like if you're not comfy, it's a nightmare. And then eating Italian food, if you're not comfy, it's a nightmare. I have these two new sweaters that I got. Um, they're both from Forward. Um, one is this Couperny thing like this. And the other one is Jacquemus. The Jacquemus is like the same, actually. They're the same sweater in different colors. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um... I don't think I want to get makeup on this right now. I think I'll try the blue one. This blue sweater was actually in my forward cart for probably six months before I actually pressed play on it. Okay, I could do it with... These jeans were my dad's. I took them and I put a hole right underneath my butt cheek on the thing. So it's kind of like a little... But do I want my ass cheeks out today? Or do I just wear like Skims yoga pants? I have a feeling it's going to be Skims yoga pants for me. I can shop. I can change out of this, I can change into it, I can eat pasta, um, and I almost want to wear them with my pajama pants. <laughs> also this thing, I hate it, it has to go so bad. Alright, I decided we're gonna try the jeans, we're just gonna try them, but I don't know if it's like appropriate, you know? Because they have the, this thing here. I'm like so not into ripped jeans lately. They're kind of cute, they're kind of, mm, it's actually not bad. And they're loose. A year ago, these actually didn't even fit me. I think it's absolutely insane that Abercrombie has high rise, low rise, 
no mid-rise. I thought they were like a big jean company. Can't find a mid-rise straight leg to save my life. is kind of like the black Chloe shirt that I wanted with the sleeves that go like this. Oh wait, it is Chloe. Oh my god, wait, this is the shirt. I thought it was just like it. Kardashian's wedding dress. I actually don't know if this is it. I didn't watch the wedding. Wasn't this it? I have Wedding's no light. idea. I don't, I don't keep up with her. Neither do I. She's the only Kardashian I don't follow. Why? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, Mira Sophie right here would be fantastic. She's practicing the poses already. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna take a picture now. I just feel like okay it's 40 percent off here if i get it on actually no it would make more sense to get it here if i were to get this shirt mm -hmm. because on forward i get it for 15 percent, and here it's 40 percent. i love this shirt so much oh it's so cute oh god this one i don't know i don't like the boobs out i don't like the thing in the middle here and it's giving Love Shack fancy, honestly. Yeah. Why are you doing that? I don't want to be in your video. <laughs> All right, I obviously would not wear these together, but how do you feel about the skirt? I think it's not nice. I think it's some of the I people think the pockets. The but skirt? If it's looser, I don't know. It's no good. Yeah, the skirt I like. She's a little tight. And this, the sleeves are just too short. I look like I play the bagpipes with my socks like this. All right, yeah, this one I'm gonna get. We should still try to find that skirt in a different size. I'm buying this. This is adorable. But the silhouette is like kind of what I've been looking for in a jean. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, it's straight leg, but it's very yeah. wide. Yeah, I wanted wide leg. I want straight leg and I want wide leg. Okay. This silhouette is a little better. I just don't like the, you see the spotty denim? Like how it's spotty rather than like striated kind of? I kind of don't like spotty denim. Mm, yeah, now I'm looking at them again. I don't know if these ones are my favorite. These are the ones that I want. They're very
really quickly show you what I got from Saks before I end this video. I am not doing Vlogmas this year. I had this whole thing planned out. I had every vlog planned out of what I wanted to do, what days, like when to upload. And nobody talks about how hard it is to do Vlogmas and film and edit when you're visiting family. Because when Kermit's not talking to me, my mom's talking to me. We're not doing Vlogmas this year. I'm doing my best, okay? So I'm gonna show you also my parents I can only do so much. Okay, so I got two bags from Saks. Um, and I also, Miss Tiffany needs to take a day and find herself because I went to Tiffany's to see if they had the jewelry that I wanted. <coughs> and they said, do you want some water? Every time I go to Tiffany's, they ask me if I want water. I always say yes, I always need water. So I said, yes, I need some water. They give me this like glass bottle of Evian but first of all, me and my husband are both here. There's two of us, bring us two bottles. And they didn't pour it into a little cup. Now I'm not that, I'm not that much of a Karen that's gonna be like, excuse me, where's my cup? Where's my napkin? Where's my scone? But I just, I took it and I was like, okay, thank you. I didn't think anything of it. And then the guy came out with the jewelry that I wanted to see. And he goes, they didn't put it in a cup. And I was like, no. And he's like, and they only brought you one. I'm like, you know what? Now that you say that, yeah, that was fucked up what they did. Anyway. Um, I got that bottle of water first. I'm gonna, okay, the first thing that I got was from Max Amara. I'm not gonna try it on right now because I am really tired and I haven't had coffee and you kind of already saw me try it on in the store. This sweater, I wanted a Christmassy looking sweater. I have like a, oh, okay. I have this blue Christmassy looking sweater. But this is the only like Christmas pattern looking sweater that I have. Like it's just too bright, it's too loud. I wanted something a little bit more reserved a little bit more elegante and I just feel like I could do a lot with this because I love cream white brown beige black this has all of the above I'm gonna live in this this season and it's just like nice and loose it's just beautiful so that's what I got from Max Mara is it Max Mara Max Mara Max Mara Max Mara I don't care that much I got very far off track jeans are something that i really need and also i needed a black dress that's like the whole reason i even went out into the, in the like in the first place and then i walked into the store and i saw shiny shit and i started running all over the place and then like two hours in i was like all right let me calm down and start looking for my dress and if i find a pair of jeans on the way then a win is a win i also don't have a lot of pants but i'm gonna try the pants on because these pants are gorgeous and i have never seen something so perfect i'm so obsessed with a mid-rise straight or wide leg like silhouette so i found these pants i am gonna try them on because they're just like the perfect mid-rise they're like kind of sexy but like also like a wide leg like businesswoman moment okay look at these pants they're by a brand that i really never heard of before today called alc i didn't do the belt buckle because that's just too much commitment for me right now but the silhouette of these is so with like the thing that comes over here i don't know what this is called i need to educate myself before i give these like clothing reviews i sound so stupid they're absolutely beautiful the silhouette of these they're a little long i'm gonna get them tailored the silhouette of these is perfect they like cinch the waist in they flare out they just make me look skinny yeah I'm obsessed with these pants in the worst way. Okay, and the last thing I got is a little black dress because we all need a little black dress. And I really never ever in a billion years saw myself wearing a slip dress, but it looked so good on me. And I, I, I honestly kind of tried this on at the very end just for fun. Like I pulled out a beige kind of like office, like business casual looking dress, but it was like the birthday party that I'm going to is like, he wants cowboy themed and they're all wearing like good like nice outfits but with a cowboy hat and like belt buckles and shit so i was like okay this is kind of like it kind of feels like cowhide i don't know what kind of fur it was but the whole dress was just i wish i took a video of me trying it on i really liked it and i was really debating on getting it even though i wasn't gonna wear it like just for fun because i loved it so much but i held myself back i reeled myself in and i ended up trying on this black slip dress just while i was like waiting for kermit because he had to run down the road and pay the meter and i was just stuck in sacks by myself so i just started trying things on playing dress up as i do and i got this long black dress by lan lanjency lagency lagency La agent. it's gorgeous and it's just long and elegant and i tried that on and kermit was like forget everything else you're getting the dress and i was like okay but yeah that was my sax haul sorry i look like garbage at the end of the video and in the beginning of the video and 
a little bit throughout the video. So that's it. Happy Vlogmas, even though I'm not doing Vlogmas for several reasons, but I will see you whenever I post again. I just realized I never updated anybody on Joanne's Trattoria, Trattoria, I don't know. Um, so I am an Italian food connoisseur, okay? I know good Italian food. And I love and respect Lady Gaga and her parents so much. The service was amazing. The lobster mac. Okay, sorry, Kermit just dropped off my coffee. Um, the lobster mac was so good. I will go back there just for that lobster mac and cheese. So I fasted all day because I knew I was gonna like OD on Italian food. And I definitely fucked up because the lobster mac wasn't an appetizer, it's an entree, but we ordered it to share. And then I ordered myself um, chicken parm and he ordered shrimp parm. And he's like, sorry, we're out of that. And he goes, but we have shrimp scampi. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, I'm getting chicken parm, he wants shrimp parm. Y'all aren't out of shrimp because you're offering him shrimp scampi. Why can't you just parm it the way you're gonna parm my chicken? It's the same sauce, it's the same cheese. Something's off there. Um, but anyway, he ended up getting lemon chicken and it was kind of not good. Like I wouldn't have eaten it. I would have probably sent it back, but like he munched on it and then he brought it home. And I don't know him to like not finish a plate. My chicken parm, it was good. All I have to say is I do not like a really sweet marinara sauce. They put, I could tell they put so much sugar in the marinara sauce. Um, and I was like bothered by that.